All right, well, I'm going to call the meeting to order. This is a regular scheduled meeting of the Town of Berlin Development Review Board. We we'll have one item on our agenda tonight. And that's the application by uh, Henry Hugh, Inc. Uh, to um, do a subdivision. Uh, the subdivision would be off of... Um, Warner Road. Warner Road. Yep. Um, and... Uh, uh, do we have anyone here that's interested in this application tonight besides the applicant? If not, what they do is start by swearing in the applicant and the zoning administrator. Swear to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth, the matter before this board tonight under penalty of perjury. I do. Chip? Yep, I do. Yes, I do. Yep, thank you. Um, so. We've heard your application with regard to this, um, this site before, but not for a subdivision. This is a two lot subdivision, Jim? Yes. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell us about it? No, it's just for a, uh, a lot for a house and it's just a, a, a subdivision off a contiguous piece of land that we own and that's about it. Okay, um, questions by the board? Just for the record, it's 1.5 acre lot that they're looking I to see take that. off of the larger piece. Yep. And the minimum, well, lot, minimum lot requirement for this, for this subdivision, for this district is 40,000 square feet, right? It It is, Tom. It is, Tom. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't really a question. <laughs> right. it sounded like one, though. Yeah. All right. Well, I was checking to see if he was here. All right. <laughs> well, I figure yeah. we're going to go through the criteria anyway. So, we yeah, we are. Um, uh, a whole other story, but the criteria here under subdivision standards, chapter 350 are different than the standards that they refer us to at the end of um, uh, administrative procedures for subdivision, but that's beside the point. Um, we're gonna go with a chapter 350. Um, Sounds good. Tom, do you have any comments with regard to this application? No, I do not. Okay, um, the, uh, let, let's, let's go through. Let's go Very through good. it. Quick. Chip, did you have anything to offer besides what you submitted? Was your application on the site plan? Yeah, yeah, no, just as uh, you know, just off that property um, for a house for a family member. Okay. So no, nothing terribly exciting. Um, about the only question I have for you, Chip, is is um, well, I have a couple questions, but the one the one that's most pressing for me is. Uh, you've left a 20 foot buffer behind between the back of that property and the uh, uh, property number one. Is that, yeah. just to, that just to connect the two properties or what? Yes, yes, to keep them, uh, to keep them together. Um, and uh, if, if it ever came down to it, I guess in the, you know, way, way later, if there was ever an issue, we could, you know, do a boundary line adjustment. It was just to keep the, keep it as a two lot subdivision. As opposed to three lot, right? Yeah the uh, the twenty the twenty feet you have left back there really is not enough for a right away. I mean it is it is legally a right away width, but um, thinking of, in terms of a road back there, that's pretty marginal. Yeah, no, I had never never to be honest, never planned on making it a road or a, or or a right away to be at this point. Because that's all owned by the same group for less of a lack of a better term all right um so uh camp capabilities community facilities and utilities yeah it shouldn't be like i said it's a it's a uh i guess an average size home um there it will be uh connected to the uh municipal sewer and uh, not sure at this point whether we will try to see about uh, moving the town water down Warner Road or not. Um, I haven't had a lot of positive feedback from 
the neighbors, whether they'd want it or not. So uh, at this point, probably a drilled well and there's a, you know, there's a Green Mountain power pole right there. So shouldn't, shouldn't really tax anything. Hopefully it'll add to the number of students at Berlin Elementary. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Okay. Mr. Ch Mr. Chair, they, they, they have received a wastewater allocation from the Berlin Public Work Board. All right. Thank you. And um, I, I'm not familiar with Warner Road. Is that paved or not paved? Not. Gravel, graveled. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I've, talk, I've talked to the road uh, um, commissioner about whether we need a culvert or not and he basically talked about depending on where the driveway is we may or may not and that he would you know whoops i keep covering that camera sorry uh he let me know you know what he thought when we got you know further along into the build, building part of it chip just to remind you you will need a curb cut permit from this yeah, yeah yes, absolutely um I'm going to go through these unless people have questions on the subjects. Um, I'm thinking this is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Suitability of the land. Yeah, it's um, fine. It's... Not subject to flooding? No, no. <laughs> if it is, we're, we're all in trouble. <laughs> yes, certainly. Um, the criteria and design and configuration of parcel boundaries really is more aimed at multiple lot subdivisions does anybody have any questions with regard to lot arrangements or lot dimensions or uh, building envelopes i have one question um our our criteria do require that your application in, uh, indicate what the building envelope would be um you do not show a building em envelope on your subdivision uh, in this case here, we're assuming that the building envelope will probably be the setbacks, unless there are restrictions on the property like wetlands or riparian restrictions. Right. No, there's there's no restrictions as far as that go. And um, I thought we had done one with a with a uh, with a house drawn on it, but that may have been something else I submitted um, that showed the potential where the house was. It's it's well inside all the setbacks and there's really really nothing um on either side front or back um you know close at all to it okay but it is missing from the drawing it's supposed to be on the drawing according to our, our bylaws so um, okay uh yep i will get i did not look at the original the initial application with regard to the house site so i don't remember if there was an envelope on that or not chip was the last time yes about this, but I don't have I don't have it still. So mm -hmm. yeah, I will get I will have that added um, uh, when we get. Well, I, I can have Chase add that on. That's no problem. And just for the record, that that those that that drawing was submitted. It was never made part of the record because the last time uh, we were just talking about the change of use. Okay. Yeah. So we, we, we will most certainly uh, make that a condition of this permit that you have a building envelope shown on the drawing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. to be honest with you, I, I didn't even notice that it wasn't there. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, the um, design and layout of necessary improvements, there are no roads, um, there's no bicycle pedestrian facilities, no water and wastewater facilities because, well, there's going to be water facilities when you drill a well. Correct. Um, right, or the or the or the or the town. If, as I said, I'm not I'm not sure about that. At this point, I would assume a well. Okay. Um, landscaping. Um, hopefully, lots of grass. Few, fewer dandelions there than are at my house right now and uh to be some trees there'll be uh um i think some pines planted and maybe some apple trees on the back not not entirely sure but something along those lines the back of the lot is mostly tr uh, trees right now is it not chip 
Yes, sir. Um, stormwater management is probably not applicable. Um, I looked through construction and maintenance of necessary improvements, and I don't see that being relevant. Character of the area. Uh, yeah, pretty, <laughs> it's mostly houses. Um, so it, it pretty much fits in. It's obviously in an area that is designated for other uses. Um, uh, but right exactly where that house is, there's a house across the street. And then the next one down is my brother's house. Um, so it's pretty much just, pretty much what's there. My parents' house is just up the road a little bit. I thought it backed, isn't it back onto other residential areas or something? Didn't we talk about that last time? Yes, there's, uh, um, like you said, kind of, uh, let me think, north of it towards Airport Road uh, is where Steve's was, but he's not there anymore, or the or the Rue house, but my parents' house. And then, across, like you said, right across, directly across Warner Road is uh, um the pastor's house for the uh, church and then the next lot is my brother's house so it's mostly houses well yeah mostly houses i guess then the next house the next property up is uh um uh oh my goodness i can't think of her name um the kelly's yeah. um on collage trail so pretty much what's there there are some there are other uses but about about average i guess Kelly's have a residence there, do they? Yes, yes. The uh, Red House is, uh, or somebody's in it. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but. At, at Polly, the, the property that is just north of this is is zone uh, rural 40. So that, that's, I think that's what you're thinking about being yeah. a residential. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Huh. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the back lot line borders rural residential no kidding i didn't pay attention to that no. um soil preservation this speaks to how you do your work it doesn't it's not necessarily a criteria and the other the last criteria is conformance with these regulations um we already just already agreed that um uh, uh residential use and light industrial could be permitted. That was accomplished at our last meeting. So otherwise, if you meet the setback requirements, you perform with these regulations. Okay. Um, um, the actual application for the residents will go to the zoning administrator, who will determine whether or not it does, or does not meet the standards. Um, are there questions by board members? Tom, you have any comments beyond this? No, sir. I really hate to close in five minutes, but. <laughs> I, got a, five. I, got a, I got a piece of meat in there. Call him, do me. <laughs> Carla, Carla would be proud of me, you know. <laughs> it's it's seven fifteen, Bob. It's more than five minutes. All right. <laughs> I'll make a motion to close the hearing then. I'll okay. I'll John, second. Made, motion by John, second by Polly, because she beat to her. Um, uh, discussion of that motion. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed. Hearing none opposed, uh, the motion carries. Um, and this hearing is closed. Thank you very much, Chip. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Chip. And I will, I will get that, uh, that copy change. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not sure why it wasn't on there, but we will, I will remedy that tomorrow. Tell Billy knows better. No kidding. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> well, very well. Hey, thank you so much. And everybody have a nice night. Have a good dinner. You thank too. you. <laughs> Bye. Smell <Bye>. good. <laughs> um, we have one more item of public interest, which is the approval of the minutes of May 4th. So we saw those, right? We saw them. I reviewed them. Uh, Polly, I believe you and I both commented that they looked yeah. good. Yeah. So um, I'll make the motion to approve the minutes of May 4th as written. All right. I'll second. Second. Second.
sure beat you. <laughs> ah, that's the way it is. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there a discussion of that motion? Any comments on those minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please sit the by saying aye. 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 And those opposed? Uh, the minutes are approved as written. Um, does anyone want to go into a little procession with regard to this application? I don't see a need, but someone does. I don't either. If there's no one that needs to do that, I think Christy's obviously not on, but she's going to see the minutes uh, on Orca and also you're recording them, Tom. Um, I think it's pretty straight. Very Before, straightforward. Yep. <laughs> I, yes. Can we? Can we? Can I ask a question? Go, Carla. It's not about this application. Um, I want to. I'm. I'm curious in regard to residential lighting. How do we determine how strong? How? What a light? What lights are covered under the regulation? Because it's a certain. Um, can't remember what we call it. Uh, is it lumens or? Well, lumens and downcast and all that other stuff. Um, uh, Tom, have you been copied on all this correspondence? Uh, no, but I. I did. I, I was going to send it to him, and I didn't. I'll send it. I can do that, but I'm just wondering how we determine if it's if it's within our jurisdiction. I I. Uh, Tom, you really is the person to ask that question. Uh, Tom, what 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 lights are within our jurisdiction for new bylaws? Well, I, I think the first thing is new lights, right? And anything that was there before these bylaws were in place, really, there's we ha we have no jurisdiction over. I, I don't think we do. I think they would be grandfathered. There. I think that was discussion last time. Uh, and at the uh, and, this light is, um, I, I think, well, would be well below the lumens issue. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's a residential standard light. The other light was a commercial standard light. Um, I haven't measured it. I, I'm just trying, what I'm trying to, what I've tried to do is, is, is reach out to the neighbor who, was very helpful to resolve the first time around um, uh, because I, I just never had any luck with uh, with the, the, the sibling or the child that's named with uh, with with mom um, just to get it try to get results. I, I wasn't doing it from a zoning standpoint. I was just trying to help somebody out with a light. Yeah. Um, no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so when I asked the, the 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 neighbor who was being offended, I said, "Well, can't you just call your neighbor and ask him to turn a light off?" And she, and she said, "No, she's not allowed to talk to them for whatever reason." So, sounds like you, a lovely situation. You can yeah. see the state of affairs that's here. So, my, I. I Correct me if uh, anybody here, if, if you think I'm wrong, but my cut at it is it's not a new light. Uh, it's not been installed since the adoption of these ordinance. Uh, I don't know that this light's been adopted since the prior ordinance, you know. So unless there's evidence presented that says this light is new, newly installed, which was the case with the other light, uh, it was a change over in lights, um, uh, we have no jurisdiction. If we did... I can find you a thousand just like this. Right. You know, you know, I mean, we got, we got, I got some all over the place around me that are just literally shining in all kinds of directions, not supposed to be, but they're pre existing. Right. And you know what? You there, know? Is, there are curtains and shades and things like that. Okay, quit here, you Polly. There are curtains and shades available if somebody. Yeah, but, that, but that's really not the issue. I think the issue is do we have jurisdiction? Uh, and the reality is, is the, the uh, DRB does not have jurisdiction at all. Well, it's not an appeal. We do not administer the regulations. Right. Only one person administers the regulations, and that is the zoning administrator. And it, well, if it was an appeal of a decision, that'd be one thing, but it's not. It's not. Right. So, 
she's asking us to direct the zoning administrator to do something. Yeah. Um, the zoning administrator is a separate party, right. represents a town, and we do does not is not a, not you know, other than the fact he's helpful, does right. not work for us. Right. And I and I did respond with that message that that I I certainly don't have the authority to tell the zoning administrator what to do. <laughs> Um, because it was directed at me, so I responded in that regard. But um, anyway, I just wanted to, because that was my thought too, is that we just don't, we don't even have the DRB doesn't even have any jurisdiction in this matter. So, oh. um, but the question, if, if the question is, does the town have jurisdiction? Well, she can ask the zoning administrator. But the reality is, as we understand the ordinance, it's really only things that have been built new or revised since the ordinance that fall under this ordinance. Yeah. Okay. So that, that, that's what I tried explaining, but I also said I would try to reach out and to folks who are helpful with me in the last time. And, but I have not been able to find that individual. And I haven't either, time. Tom. Okay. So, all right. Well, we uh, that's enough, I think, at the meeting. I just wanted to raise the issue because I feel like it needs to be addressed in some manner that, you know, the email. So anyway. Yeah, that's, that's how I understand the laws work. And I'm guessing nobody, I agree. Here, nobody here disagrees. Right. Uh, is there anything else come before this board tonight? I, I would just like to remind folks that on the next meeting, is June 15th and it'll be a, a pretty and uh, uh, full meeting. Uh, there may be uh, various uh, sides. Um, it may be controversial, so I'm just letting you letting you know that. Just one app, one application, right, Tom? That's correct. Yep. And I have not read the paper today, so I don't. I, I saw the headline, but I did not take the time to read it. So I have no oh. idea. What, this is the Good Samaritan thing. It is. Yeah, hmm. that's our next. That's our next hearing. Oh, and and Tom, John, you're you're not yeah. going to be here. Right, right. I just wanted to make sure you received the email. I okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you reached out to Josh? I have. Okay. Yep. I sent I sent him the paperwork. Good. And you guys should all have gotten that one in the mail. I did get that in the mail. Is there yeah. supplemental filings or just the newspaper report? I haven't seen the newspaper, Bob, so I, I don't even. Yeah, I didn't know. Is this the Times Argus? Yeah, Times Argus uh, article today. Ah. Hmm. I, I know the select board met last week on it, so that's probably what generated the Times Argus report. Hmm. Yeah, again, I, I, I've not read it because it wasn't top of my list. Um, but um, OK, uh, so we do have some in interested parties, Tom. I believe there will be, yes. Okay. Um, on that application, um, not to get ahead of ourselves, there's no LOI yet, right? Uh, the, we have a, a letter from Btrans stating that they, the, the, it was their opinion that the LOI, LOI would be issued prior to the 15th. So it's not in hand yet. Okay, so in other words, we have no LOI. Cor correct. Will we have it by the meeting, you think? Well, that's what, that's, what, yeah. that's what they said they would do, yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't quite hear you. Has the property changed hands already? It's, they have an option. Ah. <clears throat> Let's not get ahead of ourselves because it's not a yes, formal yeah. hearing, guys. Just curious, um, okay. Yeah, I just, um, uh, if there's nothing else formal become before this board tonight, <laughs> I would entertain a motion. I move that we adjourn. All second. <laughs> motion made by Polly, seconded by John. Uh, there is no discussion. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you very Good much, job. all. Good job. Yes. <laughs> Thank you the very recording much. has stopped. Bye. Have, have a good evening, everyone. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.